Hello and welcome to Steve's Backyard Bonsai. Today I'm working on my Dawn Redwood Forest pot preparation. I've picked a rock feature that I would like for this planting and I needed to locate it in the pot and I want to get that in there permanently. That's the first step. Actually, the first step was to lay it out on paper and I'll show you that right now. All right, so as I mentioned in the past, I like to do a layout of what I want to do on paper first. And I decided to make a template which I could write on and then erase if I wasn't happy with it, and write on it again. And I've done that a few times. This is the layout that I've chosen for my Dawn Redwood Forest. I have a rock feature which is gonna overhang the lip of the pot a little bit and 11 Dawn Redwood trees which I've reduced down to their bare minimum. What was important to me was to be able to get my hands in everywhere and I wanted to make sure that I could do that all over the place. If I had a tree that was deep in, I could get my hands in there to clean out around it. I can get my hands in here, my hands in here. I could easily fit more trees. And when they go in there, they're just going to be not much in terms of uh, foliage, um, but I want them to develop in this pot and I will form the foliage. Uh, as I've described in the past, I want them to be flame shaped and maybe only this high in total. So what I've got here is the widest width that I would like on each one of these trees. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to achieve this, but I'm gonna give it my best shot. So first things first, I found a rock that I like, and I can remove this. Here's the rock. It's very cool. It has some nice features on it. And what I wanna do is situate it so that it's hanging over the lip of the pot a little bit. And I haven't cemented anything in yet, but these stanchions that I've built in this location will support it. So I will glue those into place and then I will glue the rock on top of it. Everything else can be done later on. I have the screens glued in um, where I want them. There's a drainage hole underneath here that will be accessible to. Uh, and the placement of the trees, as I mentioned, I've decided. Of course, they can move a little bit as I, as I do this. The soil will come up to the lip of the pot here and come up a little bit higher. This allows me to go a little bit higher than the lip of the pot so I could have a gentle slope all around. And I, and I like my pots to be uh, permanently designed. So this is a GRB 23 made in Korea mica pot. It is uh, overall dimensions are 28 inches. Interior, it's about 25 and three quarters, which is pretty big. And this way, it's about 12 and a half interior, 14 and three quarters outside to outside dimensions. So I'm gonna incorporate the lip of the pot by going over it in this, in this area. And it should look good from all sides, all right? If I, if I decide to do any other rock placements in the forest, they will be done afterwards and based on what kind of space I have left. Uh, so let's get started on gluing these down. There will be a drainage layer, a very thin drainage layer of pumice, and then my regular soil mix on top of that. I will use muck to transition to the rock and other places where I'm planning on um, uh, having some moss growing in the forest. There are clearings and entry points into the forest here, 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 and uh, I might have a path leading up to the rock. I also have one tree that has kind of a an odd base. It comes down and goes down and then the root goes around and there's a secondary root. And if I can fit that over the rock, I might try to do that, but I'm not sure that that'll work. Uh, so 
I didn't want to lay it out, uh, but as I'm planting the trees, I might end up uh, doing that. So you've seen me do this kind of work before, and it's something I really enjoy doing. Um, and I don't see any reason why a permanent feature like this would get in the way of any repotting or anything like that, especially in a wide open setting like this. Let's move on with my idea and see how it turns out. All right, hopefully you can see that I've located this stanchion and put a little index mark here so I can come back to the same spot and I've done the same over here. Just making a slight adjustment. All right, so what I want to do now is remove the rock and glue these down in place. And as you can see, the drainage hole will be perfectly accessible when all is said and done. I'm using this Gorilla Contact Adhesive Clear Grip. Excellent stuff. I love it. And... I'm going to put a generous amount on the PVC. I'll also put some here to ensure that it sticks. And I'm going to put it down and line it up with the line that I had drawn. Do the same with this one. Let that sit for a while, and then I'll place the rock on top with some glue on top of the PVC as well. I've marked the outside of where the rock will be so I can have a sense of the positioning. And I got my fingers crossed that I got this right. If I don't have it right, I'll make it right. Okay, now I'm going to apply some glue, a very generous amount, because it's got some gaps to fill. So, there's always that. All right, so now I'm going to gingerly and carefully place this down on the rock. I mean, place the rock down on the pot. And hopefully I've got the location set well. I'm just gonna let the weight of the rock push down on this and I'll leave it overnight and that's really all I'm doing for uh, preparation on this pot uh, in terms of my spring plantings the first one I'll be working on is my wild grape planting I also have my common bald cypress stream bed planting I'm making a little swamp and hopefully that'll work out okay and then after that, I'll be doing the Dawn Redwood planting in this pot. So that's all for today. I hope you've enjoyed this pot preparation for my Dawn Redwood forest. Thank you for keeping me company in my backyard. Mm -hmm.